Elena babysits her neighbor's children. Her earnings are given by the equation y equals 8.40x, where x represents the number of hours she worked and y represents the amount of money she earned. Jada earns $7 per hour mowing her neighbor's lawn. Okay, I want to see this information written down in your notes. You can't just read it. You're going to have to use the information. So get your pen and paper. Go to your notes page. This is problem number two. So title your paper here so that I can find it when I check your notes. Problem number two. Okay, let's go through that information together. Elena and Jada each make money by helping out their neighbors. Okay, so what did you just learn? There are two people in the story. There's Elena and there's Jada. So you need to write down their names so that you can organize your information and keep it all straight. Elena babysits. Her earnings are given by the equation y equals 8.40x. Okay, write that down in your notes. Where x represents how many hours she worked. Let's write that down too. x equals hours. And y represents how much money she earns. I'll put that right here. y equals money. Okay, we have Elena's information now. Jada, over here, Jada earns $7 per hour mowing her neighbor's lawns. It said $7 per hour. So I drew a slash line right there, per hour. And what that really means, let me explain that in more detail. That means seven dollars per one hour. See how useful it is to make sure you have your units in all of your numbers? Because then you know exactly what this means. Okay, what did you learn right off the bat from the information given? Well, I can see right off the bat that Elena earns $8.40 per hour. They did not give us the units. They only gave us this equation. But look what it shows you. Y equals money. So let me write it this way. The money that Elena earns equals $8.40 times x, x equals hours. So times hours worked. So how much does she make? She makes $8.40 per hour. This is times the number of hours worked. So what we're learning is Elena makes $8.40 per one hour worked. I can see that right off the bat. Okay, do you have this in your notes? Now, what are we going to do with this information? Let's read the question again. Okay, it says, who makes more money after working 12 hours? How much more do they make? Explain your reasoning by creating a graph or a table. Okay, and then here they have a table that we're going to fill out, and they have a graph that we're going to fill out. So, can you do this? I think you've already learned how to do this very well, but this time we are comparing two different proportional relationships. There's the proportional relationship for how much money Elena earns, and there's the proportional relationship for how much money Jada earns. So the x is the number of hours worked. If Elena works one hour, how much does she earn? If Jada works one hour, how much does she earn? Okay, and we're going to answer the question, who makes more money after working 12 hours? So go back to your notes play page. Let's go ahead and do the math first. You can't just fill out your chart without doing any math. So let's make a table here. Right here, this is x, that's hours worked. 
And then this is Elena's money. I'm going to put E's money. And this is Jada's money. And that's the way I'm going to note, note it. Okay. So if Elena works, wait a second. Let me just put some hours here. One hour, two hours. They asked us about 12 hours. So let's go one, two, I don't know, four, 12. Okay. We need to go up to at least 12 hours. X is hours. I like to put my units there. Okay. If Elena works one hour, let's put the number in. Y equals 8.40 and X equals one because that's what we're using here. We said X equals one. We said Elena works one hour. Now, how much does she make? She makes $8.40. So let me fill that in. Now from the information given, how much does Jada work make if she works for an hour? She makes $7 an hour mowing lawns. So for one hour, she makes $7. For two hours, Elena makes, let me do this again, y equals 8.4 times 2, she makes $16.80 in 2 hours. $16.80. How much does Jada make in 2 hours? Just multiply this here by 2. Jada makes $14 if she works 2 hours. How about for 4 hours? How much does Elena make in 4 hours? Just keep doing the math. Show me this on your notes. I expect to see your math in your notes in the picture. I'll be disappointed if I don't see it because I don't want to do all the work myself. You need to learn this. Look at that. I just made a mistake. Not three hours. This is for four hours. There we go. Four hours. Eight dollars and forty cents. In four hours is thirty-three dollars and I'm um, thinking, thinking sixty cents. Did I do that right? I think someone better get a calculator and check. I have a calculator. I mean, that's a simple problem, but I'm really tired. I always make mistakes when I'm talking. I'm just gonna double check that. Eight dollars and forty cents times four. Yeah, I got it right. <laughs> All right. And then what about Jada? If Jada works for four hours, just multiply that $7 times four. Oops, there we go. Seven times four equals $28. Uh-oh. Jada's not making as much money as her friend Elena. I wonder if she feels like kind of jealous or regretful that she's not making as much. I don't know. What would you rather do? Would you rather mow a lawn or watch watch kids? Okay, now for 12 hours, $8.40 times 12 hours. How much is Elena making? Don't even think about having me do that one in my head. $8.40. I mean, I probably could, but why would I? 180 cents. She makes $100 and 80 cents. And Jada makes 12 times seven is 70, 84 dollars. That one I can do in my head. Do you want to double check me? I mean, I'm no genius. Double check me if you want to. Okay, so here's the table. The question was, who makes more money after working 12 hours? Okay, we did a lot of work, but it's very easy to see. Elena makes more money after 12 hours. She makes $100.80. Please circle that and show it in your notes. That is the answer for question A. Who makes more money after 12 hours? Oh, and question A also asks, how much more money do they make? So I think we better answer this, okay? $100.80 minus 
Get your calculator ready. Who makes more money? Okay, do the math, please. Did you do it? Elena makes $16.80 more. You need to answer that for question A. Question A has two parts. This is part one, and the answer to this is part two. Okay, let's do question B now. Question B says, what is the rate of change for each situation and what does it mean? I wanna make sure you know what I'm looking at. Here, what is the rate of change? Oops, it's called D on my GeoGebra, sorry. What is the rate of change for each situation and what does it mean? Okay, the rate of change, that's gonna be the pay per hour. Pay per hour. You can use a slash line and put hour on the denominator to say per hour, okay? Pay per hour. Go back to your notes. Let's go ahead and do this one in your notes. This answers question D. So what is the rate of change? Well, Elena, Elena gets paid $8.40 per hour. Make sure you have your units. So you need a dollar sign and per hour, you can just write a slash per hour like that. That's her rate of change. And for Jada, Jada gets paid $7 per hour. Now the question called this the rate of change. Remember the rate of change equals our constant of proportionality. So that is the K that we've been calling it all along, K. Now we can't have two Ks. Let's call this KE for K Elena and KJ for K Jada. Don't get them confused. Make sure you label everything. Now the next question asks, how long would it take for each person to earn $150? How long would it take for each person to earn $150? How many hours would that be? Okay, let's go ahead and write down their equations again. Remember that Elena, I'm just gonna put E for her, she earns $8.40 per hour. So her equation looks like this, $8.40 times X. And then for Jada, she earns less, but maybe she's happy because she's outside mowing the lawn, not inside watching kids. I don't know. She earns $7 per hour times the number of hours, y equals seven x. Okay, here are the equations that you need to know. Now, who earns $150? That means y equals $150. So what is the x when they earn $150? Who earns, who earns more? Oh, what am I saying? How long does it take? Yes, how long? How many hours is it to earn $150? Okay, okay. So go ahead and pop in $150 into your equation. For Elena, $150 equals $8.40 times the number of hours that it takes Elena to earn that money. For Jada, $150 equals $7 an hour times the number of hours that it takes Jada to earn that money. Now solve for X for both of these to get the answer. Do you know how to solve for X in a situation like this? Let me change my pen color to pink. And then I'm just gonna show you that you can look at this as two sides of the equation here. Each side is, on, is across from each other on across from each other, separated by the equal sign. Okay, so we want to get x isolated. 
And that means this $8.40, we need to move it to the other side. Well, whatever you do to one side of the equation, you have to do to the other side to keep it balanced. So here's what we do. We divide this side by $8.40, and we divide this side by $8.40. Why did we do that? Because then this $8.40 cancels out. And what, we're, what we end up with is $150, keep your signs so it makes sense, $150 divided by $8.40 per hour. Remember, that's the rate of pay. It's per hour. That equals X for Elena, which is the number of hours she must work. Now you can just do the math, 150 divided by $8.40. I have a calculator. I want you to get a calculator too and do the math right here. Okay, X for Elena, how many hours does she work? Remember the units is hours. Let's do the same thing for Jada. You need to do this answer here yourself. Don't just wait for me to do it, you need to do it. Okay, now for Jada, same thing. Just look at this equation as two sides. And whatever you do to one side, you must do to the other side. I want to isolate this x. So the first thing I see is that 7 is in the way. Let's divide this side by 7. And then we have to divide this side by 7. But we did that so that this 7 will cancel out. What do I mean cancel out? Well, 7 over 7, that equals 1. So this 7 over 7 here, that equals just 1, like 1x. So that just kind of disappears. Like this $8.40 here, that just cancels out, and this whole thing turns into 1. So that's what I mean by cancels out, because anything divided by itself turns into the number 1. And the number 1 multiplied by anything else just equals that anything else. For example, 1 multiplied by 5 equals 5. I think it's called the identity property, and you might have learned it in the 6th, 7th grade, something like that. Identity property, right? Anyway, so that's why I divide by 7, and then I get $150 divided by $7 per hour. That, that line is a per hour there, that equals the number of hours that Jada must work. So go ahead and get your calculator and just do that real quick. 150 divided by 7. There's a calculator on your computer. Don't wait for me to give you the answer. Just use the calculator. Okay, how many hours does Jada have to work? Did you get your answer? Put your answers in your notes. So my note is blank because I don't want you to steal the answers from me. I want you to do it yourself. Put your answers in your notes and then go back to the GeoGebra page and answer the question. This question here, 2E. Using your graph or table, determine how long it would take each person to earn $150. Oops, they said using your graph or table. Oh, I forgot about that. Don't worry, you need to finish these anyway. Please finish the table. Please finish the graph. And when you do the graph, you need to have a title on your graph. Like up here, it's going to be titled like, not pay, never mind, that's a bad title, money earned. Yeah, the title of this graph can be money earned. You can use the text tool right here to put the title on. Okay, so number one, you need a title on the graph. Number two, you need to label your axes. Always label your axes. X and Y axis has to be labeled. The Y axis is going to be uh, money earned. Don't forget the units in dollars. You have to have the units. The X axis is going to be the number of hours worked. 
So should we say time? Let's just call that time in hours. But you could also call it hours worked. Anyway, so you have to label the axes. You have to write the units on the axes. Remember, units are in parentheses. Then you need to write the scale. Don't forget to put the scale on here. Use the text tool to label this scale. So after one hour, how much money does she make? And after two hours, how much money does she make? They want to know how much they make after 12 hours. So let's see, this will be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, does it fit? It fits, 10, 11, sure, 12 hours fits on the graph if you have each grid mark be one hour. And then how much money does that need to be? I think each one of these marks probably needs to be $8 because every hour Elena makes $8.40. Jada only makes seven. You know what, why don't you just round that up to 10? I'll, I'm gonna help you with scale, okay? Each one of these tick marks, I think you could just make it 10. So count by tens, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120. So put the scale on here. You need to choose numbers that make sense and show your data on the graph, okay? I just drew that line because $120 was too close to the money. And then number five, you need to plot points on the graph. And number six, make sure you draw a line that shows your points all fall on the line. Okay, get to work, guys, get to work. Okay, after that, on your own, I want you to try problem number three for Claire and Han. Good luck. 